saw that face. That is so funny. I was like, I never get recognized for being a reporter. And she just recognized me like, did I see you on TV? I'm like, girl, it's been like three years ago. It was a long time ago. Stay tuned because I'm getting my teeth done. So hang on. Wondering like, is this right for me? Is this gonna work for me? Like, is this a good decision? You know, my dentist was very concerned. He was like, you know, I don't think that this is gonna fix your teeth. Da, da, da. But I'm like, I met somebody with teeth just like mine, and she has completely changed her bite. Like, her yeah. teeth are perfect now, so I know it's gonna work for me. <laughs> so I am in my orthodontist chair. I'm gonna get my braces done. So I'm gonna show you my before teeth. I'm getting braces to correct my severe underbite, which you can see there's space between my teeth and I'm getting this special technique that's called Mew. I've been waiting for this for a very long time. Let's get started. So Hannah's here, she's actually a YouTuber herself. Mm -hmm. So I'm gonna put her links down below mm -hmm. and she's gonna be taking care of my teeth. So what are we doing, what are you doing today? So we're gonna be putting on your clear braces, especially for, like you were telling them, the kind of bite that you have. Braces is a really good option, but she's doing the clear braces, which aesthetically is really nice so that um, it can correct in a good amount of time, but you're still looking nice and pretty too. So Hannah's gonna be putting these on my teeth, so I'm gonna stop recording, but I'll check in shortly. Um, Stay tuned. Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right, Angela, how we doing? Okay. All right, hey, how's everyone doing? <laughs> I'm Dr. Bass. Awesome, well today we are going to be placing your braces, Angela. Fantastic, so Hannah has everything prepared for me and now I'm going to go ahead and place all the braces, okay? Mm -hmm. Fantastic. Today we are placing her braces and we're beginning the journey of her smile and bite correction, which is really exciting. And so today's the initial step. We're putting the braces on, we're getting the process started. It is going to take some time, about a year and a half to two years approximately. And the first stage of her treatment is to straighten out her teeth, which are rotated, kind of crooked, a little up, a little down. Uh, and so uh, that's the beginning process is to get everything lined up. And then once the teeth are lined up, then we're going to begin the bite correction process for Angela. And so one of the things that I had spoken with Angela about is her bite is such that her lower front teeth come ahead of her upper front teeth when she bites down right now. That's what we call an underbite. And ideally in the, in the textbook bite, the lower front teeth should fit slightly behind the upper front teeth. And so one of the things that we will be doing for Angela is the Mew technique. So the Mew technique is a really, really exciting option for patients like Angela. Once the teeth are all totally straight, I'm going to bend this really special wire for Angela. And what that's going to do, accompanied with rubber bands, is that it's going to give us a lot of extra control over the teeth than standard braces and regular straight wires would ever have. And it's gonna really allow us to kind of tip essentially tip all of those lower teeth back into the space that used to be occupied by wisdom teeth. Right now, her lower front teeth fit like, kind of like this, and then we're gonna bring everything back so that the lower teeth fit just behind the upper teeth. But it really helps a lot to get a more functional and comfortable bite. I was always told like over and over and over, probably a dozen times over the years, that the only way my underbite could be corrected was through jaw surgery, which I was not willing to do. And then I did my online research. I actually discovered his website because I was like, if I can fix my underbite with braces, I will do it, because two years is nothing. Uh, jaw surgery is very, very serious. It's not something that you need to take lightly. So this to me was a gentler option that I looked into, did a lot of research, you know, watched a lot of YouTube videos to educate myself about the process. Of course, everybody's different, but we had a discussion. He looked at my mouth. He said I was a candidate for it. Angela's gonna be getting this metal wire right here. I don't know if it's very visible, but... Um... We also have these white plastic coated wires that are a little bit more aesthetically blend in with the braces and the teeth, but they can cause a little bit too much friction so that the teeth cannot correct as easily. So because of the rotations of her teeth, we're going to use this wire for now so that we can get her teeth nice and straight quickly. I was like, I'm ready. Got my protective eyewear on. Got my braces on my teeth. <laughs> Is this in your way? Like, tell me if it's like. Um, you can you can put it in front if you want. I just zoomed in. I did notice this one is like that one's like the braces to the side, and I guess it's like because. 
It's because the teeth have to be rotated a certain way, so we don't put them all like directly in the center. Oh, okay. They have to be positioned so that to get the best correction. There's a method to the madness. That's why he does them, and I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's a science. Too. Yes. And open. Well, the arch wires that we use kind of have a memory, so that when we put the wire into the braces. Kind of gets all wonky because the teeth are crooked, but then it wants to straighten out the teeth and become that arch again. So that's how we straighten the teeth because it wants to go back to the perfect arch that it was originally. It really makes a big difference as far as you being able to chew properly, to enjoy your food. I've had so many patients that have told me after correcting their bites, like, wow, that really changed my life. Like, I can actually chew into a thin piece of pizza or a sandwich now and not have to shift it over to one side or the other. When he was talking and saying about like the chewing the pizza, like I felt a little emotional because for me, like I know that everybody thinks that I'm just getting this for cosmetic purposes, but there are so many other reasons that I have issues. Like I know that I cannot chew my food properly. Like I just can't. Uh, when I talk to people, I spit on them. Like it's embarrassing. Sometimes I'm like, I'm so sorry. I'm just having a normal conversation. Spit is coming out of my mouth because my teeth are so, you know, there's so much space in between them. So uh, my husband was very supportive. He was like, you know, this is something I can tell is really important to you because I've been wanting to get braces for a long time. But the other orthodontist, unfortunately, that I had spoken with had told me I was not really a candidate for this. Um, they were just concerned. They were like, there's too much space. So when I came upon the Mew Technique, I felt like there's hope. I'm here now with Holly, and she was very inspirational to me when I first came into the office. I had a lot of questions, and I felt like for me, it was important to talk to her because her teeth were very similar to mine in the very beginning. So I feel like she's where I want to be. Like her teeth are exactly where I want mine to be because they're perfect now. Um, so I was hoping that she would share her story with everybody and explain like, you know, why she got braces. Um, I've been wanting braces since I was about 15 or 16 years old, but um, I had a several consultations and everywhere I went they said that I needed surgery. Um, and you know, as a 15 year old, you know, hearing that I need surgery and then braces, I was like, oh, I don't really want to. And then to do the surgery on top of my braces, it would cost my parents a fortune. I just, you know, I decided just again, it. And then I started working for Dr. Bass and he was like, you need to get you in some braces. And I was like, no, I really don't want surgery. And he was like, what are you talking about? We don't need to do surgery. And I was like, well, then let's do this. And so he explained to me um, a type of braces you can do without doing surgery. And I had a really bad underbite, um, similar to Angela. So eating things such as pizza, sandwiches, anything like that that you need to bite into to eat, uh, it's always been a task. And um, you bite yourself a lot while you're eating, and it's just really debilitating. And so as soon as he told me that there'd be a way to do this where um, I wouldn't have to do anything as a basis of surgery or anything like that. I said, let's do it. So I uh, had yeah, a really bad underbite, like I said. Um, I only ate on one side. All these things I didn't even really realize. I had a weird tongue habit, so I kind of spit when I talk, you know. That's me. Oh, yeah, yeah. I'm like, that's me. Yeah, so <laughs> all of that stuff that you didn't even realize, just kind of like, oh, this is life. But then uh, um, as my bite has gotten better and it's corrected, I realized, like, wow, you know, life is better when you're doing your straight. So um, it's just, you know, it's been, um, it's been a journey, you know, and I'm so happy that I decided to do it because now, like, I told her I woke up one day and it was like Christmas morning. Like, I'd never, um, my bite had always been like this. Uh -huh. And then one day I woke up and my bite was like this, you know, like, and that had never happened before. So I was just so excited. I even called him and I was like, I'm biting. I can bite over it. It's amazing. And he was like, I'm so happy for you. So, um, but yeah, so that's my story. And um, I'm so glad that, you know, I was able to inspire one person because I am just as happy as she is that she's getting getting it done because um, it is stability thing and you don't even realize because you do it day to day but once it's corrected it's like a whole new world so um, I'm so happy for you Angela and so excited for this journey for you so I really appreciate you yeah. sharing your story on camera look how good her teeth are y'all they are just literally like <laughs> perfection and then show me your bite if you don't mind mm -hmm. look at that <laughs> this is like me down the line did it take you you said it was like months before you got mm -hmm. yeah so it took you about three months for this to happen or like two and a half this is amazing mm -hmm. this is amazing so she has literally like the perfect bite now thank so you can you. feel so good <laughs> thank you awesome and so 
basically if you're looking at me and you're like this girl's wasting her time you know that's not true because you can see who has and you're half asian too right yes so i'm like oh my gosh we're both half asian this is like a sign literally like i kept telling people like i met another half asian who had an underbite but her teeth got fixed with this too so you can look at me and then you can look at her and see like this is where i'm headed exactly <laughs> quite literally <fade. laughs> thank you so much my pleasure just got my braces done so this is day one and dr Danny Bass is gonna tell us about what the next steps are for me. Awesome, well you did a wonderful job today, <laughs> Angela. I'm really proud of you. We're gonna see a little bit of improvement each you know, each uh, like visit, she, the teeth will be a little bit straighter, a little bit straighter. Then we can put progressively bigger size wires into the braces, and those larger wires put a little bit greater force on the teeth gradually over time to move into their desired straight positions. If any of you guys are out there thinking or considering braces, like what would you say to somebody who's, you know, thinking about it but not quite ready to make that leap just yet? Okay, great question, Angela. And the wonderful thing is that we offer a complimentary consultation here at Family Orthodontics of Wellington. So if you're kind of on the fence and you're thinking like, well, what could, you know, orthodontic treatment do for me? Uh, just give us a call. It'd be my great pleasure to take a look with you and talk with you about what we could do uh, different options that we have to offer you to uh, get a great smile and a good healthy bite and uh, just to take great care of you and make sure that you love um, your teeth. And I feel like that's what this thing is for. Love my braces. Yay! <laughs> that's how I feel right now. I love my braces. Yay! <laughs>